Spencer Scott is a young black boy facing the growing pains of self-identity and family pressure. He tries to express his problems to his mother and father, but his granny is the only one who comes to his aid. Take a Giant Step by Lindsay Patterson. All right, Spence, where have you been? I told you, Mama, to the library, and I got the books to prove it. I think it's been understood, son, that yes, you did go to the library. The point is, where did you go after that? Huh, come on. Spence, Spence, that isn't like you not to answer me. Very well, when you came in, I smelled liquor on your breath. Have you been drinking? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, I'll be damned. Daddy, please, don't be calling that husband of yours daddy. He ain't no <laughs> husband of mine. <laughs> well, who have you been drinking with? To be honest with you, Mama, I don't think you know any of them. I'd still like to know. Mama, now I'm trying to be honest with you. If you keep asking me, I have to lie about it. I'd rather not do that. Very well, we'll let that rest for now. But a few minutes ago, your grandmother said something about you being in trouble. Oh, what's that you say I said? I didn't quite hear that. Are you in trouble? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, what happened? I got kicked out of school. Well, I'll be good and damned. What do you know what you did was wrong? The little genius got kicked out of school. To be honest with you, I don't feel like I did anything that was wrong. Now that just cinches it. You got kicked out of school for doing nothing. I didn't mean I didn't do anything. I just felt it was justified. What happened? Come on. Come on. Mama. Come on. I don't want to go through all that again. Her teacher, that is Miss Crawley, she said something about Negroes and I was sitting there. So I told her she was wrong. And she got mad, so I got mad. Since I got mad, I walked out of the room and had a cigarette, and that's all there is to it. What do you mean if that's all there is to it? Now, you know more than a teacher. Now, what you think of that? Mom, I'm going to stay out of school for the week. I won't go back and apologize to anyone. You want to disobey both your father and me? I don't want to disobey either. I just sort of thought you would be on my side. You will do what you're told. I suppose you can make me go up there but I won't apologize to anyone. You stop talking back to your mama. I'm not talking back, I just want to understand how I feel. You are a colored boy. That's what you are. And you have no business talking back to a white woman no matter what she says to you. Oh. That son, if you had been in the South, you could have been lynched. Mm. And for something like that, there's nothing your father nor I could have done about it. Now, my advice is to you is you stay in your place. Mm. You pardon me for saying so, mama. But I think that's the biggest hunk of bull I've ever heard in my life. Come on now. What did you say? I said you both ought to be ashamed to talk to me that way. Now you go on upstairs. And don't you come down until you apologize. Go on upstairs. It's those damn books you've been reading. That's the trouble with you. I don't think you should have slapped them, Liam. Well, what the hell was I supposed to do? Just sit there and let the young skunk cuss about it. Now you go on upstairs. And don't you stop by that trailer's room. He'll stop by my room if he wants to. Who's to stop him, I'd like to know. I'm going to stop him. You come up here with that nasty mouth of yours, I'll bet you upside the head with this cane. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine thing when a man can't get a little respect in his own house. Respect? What have either of you done for respect but bully that boy? Mother, you stay out of this. I'll not stay out of it. When I have something to say, I say it. Don't you try to hush me up. Mother, if you come down the stairs, I'm going to tell the doctor. <laughs> Tell him, smell him, knock him down and sell him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have all this slapping and going on. Where did Spence go? <laughs> he went to his room. Where you suppose he go? He still does, but you tell him why. I don't know. Mother, please. Oh, let him run us up down. It ain't going to take a long. That's where you wrong. I got a few things to say, and I'm going to say it. Well, go ahead and say it. Get it over with. I'm going to say it. You just hold your horses. I'm going to sit down first. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the first place, that little hustle that's teaching history got exactly what she deserved. Only thing I think is Spence didn't give her enough. Spence can't go around talking to people like that. Would you hush up and let me finish? Now, you got away with it with Mac. Because Mac can't Spence. But don't you know the boy is all alone? He has no friend in the world. Ain't know his little pals are starting to take to the little gals. And the little gal mothers don't want their daughters hanging around a colored boy. Well, did you know there was a dance last week and Spence couldn't go because it didn't have a date? Well, whether you know it or not, the boy is alone. And now you want to desert him completely by not backing him up. You took him out the slums and told him to think of himself as something to be respected. And now you get mad when he does the things that you made possible for him to do. Now that's bull as he states it, standing in his place. I'm ashamed of you both. Now I done said what I had to say.
sitting there, help me off this sofa. <laughs> I, 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 Mother, you shouldn't have come down here anyhow. I'll come downstairs when I want to. Now, what'd you think of that? The trouble with you two is you're too careful. No one. I ain't got much longer to live one way or the other. And I'll come downstairs when I want to. Did Spence tell you all this? Well, I certainly didn't get it from the neighbors. Well, why the hell didn't he say so when we were talking to him? How could he? You attacked him like a rattlesnake the moment he walked through the door. Now we'll send Spence downstairs. Talk to him. Be nice to him. Don't be crumbs all your lives. Thank you so much. Woo!